She baked her way to the top three of the Canadi Great Canadian Baking Show during the show's third season in 2019. From Okanee's First Nation, now living in Regina, wife, mother, and kitchen powerhouse, Jody Robson. Jody, thank you for joining us today. I'm super excited to uh, be chatting with you. I just binged uh, the third season and uh, in two days, and it was a pleasure watching you on there and speaking to you now. So thanks for joining us. Oh, thank you for inviting me on. Um, so you've been cooking since you were little. Can you tell us about the influence your cookum had on that? Uh, well, my cookum's kitchen was the first kitchen that I've ever cooked in. Um, she let it me. She let me help her whenever she was cooking because we were always just kind of underfoot in her kitchen. So, um, pretty much, my very first experience getting to actually put something together and put it in the oven was in her kitchen. You know, many people either like to cook or like to bake. Myself, I'm more on, uh, I like to bake, not a big cooker. And you actually like to do both. What is it about each yeah. that you love? You know, um, well, on, honestly, I, I just love to eat. But um, I, I really enjoy just taking things. And we like to harvest our own vegetables and, and go pick our own berries and hunt. There's just something magical about taking ingredients that you've sourced and putting them together and making the house smell incredible and filling bellies and just visiting. Again, and that's something we don't really get to do right now because of course with the way things are, but um, my sister does live across the street and we just trade food back and forth on our doorsteps. So that, that harvesting and picking, has that been something that has been in your life since you were young? Always. Um, my cook of Beanie actually had a massive garden and she had a bunch of 4-H ribbons for it because it was incredible. It was the most amazing garden. And uh, we, we went picking every summer and there was a lot of fishing and hunting on both sides of my, my family, my mom and my dad. Cooking at home and wanting to be on a competition like the Great Canadian Baking Show are, are quite two different things. What made you want to go on a show like that? You know, it it was always a dream of mine to to cook on TV. I used to watch cooking shows when we were, you know, little kids growing up on the res and we only had three channels. Um, so you'd only get like one or two cooking shows if you were lucky and you dotted down the time. Um, but it was just so cool to watch somebody cook because on TV. And, and, and when Cookham was cooking in the kitchen, you, you sat at the kitchen table usually and you just watched and she told you what she was doing. Like she explained it as she went and I just thought that was so cool and I wanted everybody to be able to experience watching her cook, you know, because it wasn't measurements or anything. It was like, do you just add this till it feels right? And I, I loved her food. And so I, I thought, you know what, if I can get on a cooking show or a baking show, then I get to do exactly what I always wanted her to be able to do. And, and it was like, it was just a dream and I couldn't believe it happened. <laughs> well, and you, and you talk about kind of just the measuring and, and, you know, feeling things out. And that was something that you kind of got famous for on the show. Um, you know, is that, that's, is that something that you're still doing today? It's, it's something I'll probably always do. I've never been one to follow a recipe or be precise. So, um, like, for example, the Saskatoon tart that I ended up sharing um, with APTN, we had to go back and try to track what we put in it, and I ended up having to remake the recipe because I don't measure. <laughs> I just kind of throw things in and just, you know, hope it works out. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It, it, it's all about the feel for me. I, I really think that uh, the emotion you put into your food does impact the people that eat it. Well, you mentioned the uh, that tart that you made for APTN. Thank you for sending that viz along here. We have it up now. Um, can you talk a little bit about, I guess, is this a favorite recipe? What uh, prompted you to make this? So uh, tarts and pies are uh, a really big treat in our house. So we, I think we love pies more than we like cake, which, I mean, there's so much versatility with a pie. And um, we were, it's, it's snowy in Regina. I don't know if it is in Winnipeg, um, but it is, it, it's like winter. And in winter, what we've always done ever since I was a child is you go down to the deep freeze and you pull out 
bags of stuff that was frozen from the summer. And you get to kind of enjoy a little bit of a, the taste of summer. And it makes the cold months not so cold. <laughs> so we, we went down to the basement and I wanted to do a rhubarb pie, but the kids wanted to do the berry pie. So we brought up a bag of berries that we picked last summer and we whipped up a pie. Well, a little mini tart because they're cute. They are super adorable. It looks delicious just watching it now. I'm drooling here and I, I'm with you on that. I am much more of a pie person than I am a cake. I always say I would rather have a birthday pie than a birthday cake. Yes, same. <laughs> Um, on the show, there were some nail-biting moments. Can you tell us about kind of the, the most stressful part uh, or experience you had there? Uh, oh, there, there was quite a few. Um, I'm not used to also baking um, under a time constraint. And on the show, you know, that they, they give you a time limit. And they're like, okay, you're going to make this three-tiered cake in two hours. And I'm like, uh, at home, that would take like two days. But... Um, so on the show, I think the most stressful bake we had um, would have been the creme caramel. And it's only because I'm not really, fa I wasn't familiar with it. And it's very, very sensitive. So the time they provided us was the exact amount of time, if you knew exactly what you were doing, to make it perfectly. And I didn't have a clue. So I was just kind of like staring at everybody's station, seeing how everybody else was doing it. And everybody did it different. So um, by the time it came over, and I knew, I knew it wasn't done just when I pulled it out of the oven, and you have to chill it before you flip it out. And I knew it was going to turn into soup, so I flip it out, and it kind of looked okay at first. I'm like, okay, cool, cool, I got it, I got it. And then it just melted, and it was just a giant gelled plate of, like, curdled milk. It was so gross. That was really stressful because I had to go put that in front of the judges and be like, Here what, here's what I've done with your recipe you've given me. I it's certainly... Embarrassing don't envy <laughs> that um the show was a little bit different it, it seemed like there was a lot of um love between the contestants and you know when someone went home it was very emotional um i guess could you talk a little bit about maybe some of the relationships that you formed during that process so um the great canadian baking show is unique in the fact that it um isn't a cutthroat competition we're basically all there. I mean, of course, it's a competition, so we still want to win, but it's more of a learning experience. You know, you, you first off, you get to bake in the tent, and that in itself is a prize. It's There's something about just baking in that tent, that iconic tent that is, it's magic. Um, but throughout the competition, the bakers help each other. You know, we're not trying to sabotage each other. We're helping each other. And you build a family. It's like the bakers that I baked with in season three were a family. And we still keep in touch. And it's, it's like a little best friend group. And, and I, I love all the bakers. And I mean, we, we can openly tell each other we love each other because we do. Now, it's, we went through something together. And it wasn't easy. It was a difficult process. It's a very uh, Canadian uh, way to do things, go into it lovingly with other contestants. Um, so it's been about two years uh, since uh, you partook in the show. I mean, can, what, has, uh, what has the past two years been like for you and, and where do you see your baking and cooking going? Well, um, the past two years since the show, I've definitely noticed um, an increase in expectation um, from family and friends that I normally baked for. They now have this idea that I can create masterpieces like I did on the show without realizing, um, yeah, it's different when you're stressed out trying to bake as opposed to when you're at home baking. And um, I think that the uh, most incredible thing since being on the show is just having like people reach out to me on social media, like through Instagram or through Facebook, and they're like, hey, look what I made. And, and prior to being on the show, I never really got that I didn't have people showing me the cool things that they've done. And I, I just, I love that so much. Like, it's so cool to see what people, other people are capable of doing as a result of being inspired by the show. Well, um, oh, sorry, oh, sorry, that's um, about all the time that we have today. I want to thank you again, Jody, for chatting with us. It was, it's been a pleasure and I love looking at your Instagram page and checking out all your creations. Oh, thank you. Best of luck in the future.